Hi, I'm Mary Ladrick, Director of Education at the Museum of the Shenandoah Valley. And this is Take a Look Tuesday, where each week on Tuesday, we take a look at a piece of art in the MSV collection. Today, I have chosen something that I think you'll find very charming. Let's take a look. What do you notice about this picture? Maybe you notice the mountains in the distance, the many shades of green of the fields and the hills. Maybe you notice that peachy beigey sky. It's kind of unusual. Or maybe you see the river snaking through the middle of the picture. Maybe the first thing you noticed was the figures in the foreground and the lady about to reach out to that cow. Or the gray barns. What other buildings do you see? What do you not see in this picture? One more question. Where are we standing? What is our vantage point in this picture? We're up kind of high, aren't we, looking down on the scene? Here's a little more detail for you to enjoy. Any thoughts on what time period is represented here? Thinking about what you don't see in the picture might help with that. Do you think this is a real place or an imaginary place? just to give you a little more information. This picture was painted about 1942. And the artist is someone that, if you're as old as me, you may have heard of. Her name was Anna Mary Robertson Moses, also known as Grandma Moses. Um, one of the interesting things about her is that she was born in 1860 and lived to 1961. 101 years. And she didn't start painting in earnest until she was in her 70s. And she often painted pictures from memory. So this was one of those pictures. Um, after she and her husband were married in New York, where she was born, they moved south and ended up in Virginia and lived here for many years before returning to New York. And she painted this picture from her memories of the time when she lived in the Shenandoah Valley. And I asked that question about the vantage, our vantage point in this picture where the viewer is standing, because this is a device that is very common in Grandma Moses's work. And hopefully I'm inspiring you to Google that and look at some of the other pictures she did. Once she got going, she was a very prolific and became a very famous artist. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's Take a Look Tuesday. I look forward to seeing you next week when we'll look at another piece from the MSV collection. Until then, stay safe and enjoy some art. Bye-bye.